Hello and welcome back to the show. This is episode number 171 and in this episode we are going to talk about the John Deere Data Manager Tool. Every day there are phenomenal advancements happening in the field of agriculture technology. The team at RDO Equipment Company along with respected knowledgeable industry experts are here to bring you the latest in ag tech news, information, and products that help today's growers solve challenges. With that, let's dive into the show. So we get a lot of questions often, or or I should take a step back and say we often talk about uh, wireless data transfer, data sync, um, connected, JD Link connected machines, um, all of that type of stuff. And and kind of, we don't often discuss on this show kind of the, the older equipment or the older technology. So I often get this question... Uh, right around this time of the year, because planting should be wrapping up or is wrapped up, and and we got uh, harvest right around the corner. And with harvest comes many, many questions about variety locator. Now, don't get too excited about variety locator yet. We will get to that on the next episode. So pay attention, listen to this episode first, and then in two weeks when we release our next episode... Uh, We will talk more about Variety Locator, but this is essentially your first step to making sure we can create those Variety Locator files. Now, those of you with JD Link connected machines, you have that Ethernet cable connected to your 2630, or you're on the Gen 4 platform, whether that be the 4600 display on your armrest or you're running the 4640 Universal Display. This episode does not necessarily uh, involve you guys, but feel free to listen along. You might learn something on on maybe a tillage tractor you got or something like that. What this is going to focus on is the John Deere Data Manager tool. So any, any of you out there that need to transfer data traditionally, so via a USB flash drive. Now, this isn't just for John Deere displays. If you remember back at the beginning of 2021, we talked about third-party data. Now, I don't remember, I can grab it real quick, back on episode number 138, we talked about third-party data and the amount of displays that the John Deere Operations Center can get data from. So if you're curious about that, I encourage you go back to listen, go back and listen to episode 138. Uh, we talk about uh, kind of the the data and the platforms and then all of the different displays that this can come off of. So this episode is for you operations out there that maybe you're running a precision planting planner and you have a, a 2020 uh, monitor. 2020 seed sense monitor in the cab, um, or maybe those of you that have a, a, a red planter or or with a Trimble display or Ag Leader displays, um, doesn't matter what it is. Um, and this goes for combines too. It's not just for planting data. This is for all data across the board, um, planting data, application data, combine data. But we're kind of focusing on planting data. Uh, Because the follow-up to this episode is going to be Variety Locator. But taking a step back again, transferring data traditionally. So in the past, uh, with with other applications, or or we go back to Apex, everything was right there. We plug the flash drive in, we upload the data, and the data is there. Now, with the John Deere Operations Center being a web-based platform, we needed a way to get that data from the flash drive onto the operation center. So it's kind of like a, I always call it like a bridge. It's a magical bridge that takes your data from a local place and uh, puts it into the operation center. And oftentimes people wonder, they ask me the question, you know, how do I do that? And one of the ways, or, or the way I should say, uh, to do that is utilizing the John Deere data manager tool. So within the operations center, so you log into your your account, you're in the operations center, and there is that more button. 
If you click on the more button and you go down, you will see John Deere Data Manager. Now what this is, is this is a download. So essentially you're downloading a program onto your desktop to, to be able to make that transfer from, from flash drive into the operation center. This is a uh, PC or Windows as well as Mac or iOS friendly. So uh, those of you, I, I think back to the Apex days, um, you couldn't run Mac uh, or you couldn't run Apex on a Mac. Um, a lot of people uh, wished we could do it. And I guess you, you could if you had the, the jailbreak, um, I forget what it's even called, uh, parallel or something like that to, to run it. But um, what, what we needed is you needed a PC in order to run the uh, Apex program. Now, this allows you to download this program and then transfer files. And because the operation center is web-based, you can utilize it on a Mac with an iOS operating system. So what you do is you just click download. So you go to the more button, you go to John Deere Data Manager, and you click download. What that's going to do is it's going to go through the process of downloading this program. No different than what you would see if you downloaded a program onto your computer. So uh, if you're in uh, Google Chrome, I believe you click the download button, and down down on the bottom, you'll see the little download happen. Um, I think Mozilla Firefox is up in the right-hand corner. I'm not sure where the, uh, the Microsoft Edge downloads go, but uh, it downloads, and then you open it. Once that program is downloaded, it will create a desktop icon. And this is how we're going to transfer these files. So what you would do is you would plug your flash drive into, the, into your computer. You would then open up the John Deere Data Manager tool. Now, the first time you do this, it is going to ask you to sign in to your Operation Center account. So uh, that is linking your Operation Center org with the John Deere Data Manager tool. So it essentially, it needs to know, where am I going to put this data? Now, from there, what you'll have is you'll have the ability to browse. Now, if you have the flash drive plugged in, Data Manager tool should automatically recognize the files on the flash drive and it should pick in that from dropdown. Otherwise, you can go in if it's a folder on your desktop or a folder elsewhere, you can go in and find that file to look for those, uh, look for those uh, data files. Then what you'll do is you'll have the two. Now, most of you are just going to have one organization under in the two drop down menu. Now, if you are out there and you have partnerships with other organizations, you will have more than one organization in that drop down menu. So just keep that in mind. Majority of you aren't going to have to worry about it because you're only going to have one operation center org, uh, but some of you out there may. Uh, maybe you're, you're crop sharing, you're doing some custom work, things like that, and maybe you already have a partnership set up in the operation center. That's a whole conversation for, for a different day. But when you select the source of where these files are coming from, where they're going to, you will see a window and it will show you all of the files that it recognizes. It'll give you what the operation was. It'll give you some other data of what those file bits are are. From there, all you're going to do is click upload. Now, after that, there's not a progress bar. There's not a lot of stuff that happens. But if you look down in the bottom, I believe it's the bottom left hand corner, uh, it should say upload complete or finished uploading something like that. That is going to tell you that everything has been uploaded. From there, what you can do just to verify that everything has come in is if you go back into your Operation Center account, you can go into the More button and click on Files. From there, you should then see all of the files that have come in. It'll say Data Manager, and then it'll have a bunch of, a bunch of information for that file. It'll tell you uh, what it was. It'll tell you the client farm field for that file. 
um, whether it's documentation, it's setup, um, should be documentation, uh, but there could be setup files on the flash drive. Um, and it'll tell you when it was uploaded or when it was created. And then from there, it'll tell you that uh, when it's, if it's finished processing, if it's still processing, or uh, if it's invalid or if something bad or, or something corrupt happened to that file, it will tell you there. So that is the first thing we need to do um, in conjunction with what we're going to talk about in two weeks with Variety Locator. This revolves around traditional data transfer. So again, 2630s uh, without JD Link and Ethernet cable, 2600 displays, uh, any of your 2020 SeedSense monitors, um, Trimble displays, Egg Leader displays, Raven, Topcon, there's a handful of them out there. Um, if you're curious, if, if you've got a display um, and you're curious, go in, talk to your local RDO equipment store, go and talk to your local John Deere dealership. Uh, if you're not in the RDO area, um, and ask them. Um, we can find out exactly what display you have and if that data is compatible with the operation center. So um, always remember that, that that this isn't just a John Deere solution. This is, well, it's a, it's a John Deere solution, uh, but it's not just for John Deere um, green only farms. Um, we can have, again, red combines, red sprayers, precision planting uh, um, planters, um, pre precision planting yield data out of a combine. Um, again, all of that that I talked about. Again, go back, listen to episode 138 if you're more curious about the the John Deere data or the third party, the the uh, structures of it and and all of the displays that are on there. Um, episode 138, we we dove into that beginning of last year. But uh, so with that. Like I said, in two weeks, we're going to talk about Variety Locator. I know some people have already down south and, and I guess in other parts of the world um, have already gotten combining. Variety Locator becomes a very big topic this time of year. Um, I hate to say it, if you did not document your varieties properly during planting, uh, you're not going to be able to get Variety Locator to work. So... Um, that's always the the first thing to think about uh, when we're collecting good, clean, usable data is is we got to do the steps on the front side. And with variety locator, that starts with planting, making sure we're documenting those varieties uh, while we're out there planting. So hold on till next or two weeks from now, we will uh, talk a little bit about variety locator, how to make sure those Variety locator files are in or created first and then in the display and we have it turned on in the display, uh, all of that stuff. Um, make sure uh, you tune in in two weeks when we talk about that. So thanks again for listening. Hope this information was useful and we'll catch you on the next one.